How do I adequately say how Jesus has changed my life? I was an extremely shy, timid, introverted person and now I'm a Jesus freak. Utterly proud of it. How did this all happen? I love to travel way back. Um, apparently, when I was born, I was quite a loud mouth. So much that my parents named me Damaris because it means gentleness. Hoping that that would kind of, you know, that I would become the nature of my name. And uh, I was quite a bratty kid, actually. I loved being the center of attention. But as I grew up, I realized that was pride. And I actually began to hate that about myself. Um, and I decided to kind of take a back seat as I grew up. I did not know that that decision would become too much of myself and that I would go into the other extreme where I was just happy to be invisible most of the time. So I'd be like in, in the classroom at lunchtime reading a book. I remember once I was reading this storybook and I looked around and there was not a soul in the class. No one was in the class. Everyone's playing football or um, running around, you know, the floors or whatever. I was the only one in the classroom and I didn't even know that I was alone. Like, that was the kind of person that I was. I was very comfortable to be alone and disappear into storybooks, have this little adventure land with Enid Blyton. And I loved it, honestly. But in all that, I kind of lost who I was. Now I've shared with you in bits and pieces in other videos how my parents have brought me up very well. Um, through them, they led me to Christ at the age of five and I wanted what they had. Like They were unlike any other person I'd ever known. So I knew that they believed what they said um, and I accepted Jesus. I believed Jesus. I believed God. It was just, it would be a long time before that grew in my life and became who I was. I found it comfortable to just not talk to anyone. Um, whereas I think this is a problem with, with introverts. It's not that they don't like people. It's that it just is so much easier to be quiet and um, uh, to be alone and doing stuff alone that slowly I at least began to lose touch of how to communicate with people and I became so utterly shy and timid and fearful and anxious to talk to people that by the time I reached high school and um, PUC and degree I actually did not know how to do that like if we had presentations or meetings with the teacher I would get acidity in my stomach because that was something so difficult for me to fathom to do like group projects and stuff was a nightmare for me. So this is the kind of person that I became. Um, and I thought it was my identity. But from the very beginning, God was trying to break that. When I was in certain standard, I, I began to feel like, <sighs> I began to feel God in a lot more real way. Some of you have seen this video um, of how I went from being a Christian to a believer, which is one of my biggest moments of my life. You should see that if you haven't. At that time, God used something very dear to me to show me something. And it was my favorite creature. It's the same creature you see in the corner of this video as of now, uh, which was such a sweet experience for me. And I feel like, oh, God is personally real. Like he personally loves me. That was everything to me. That made a world of difference for me. From then on, I could pray with actual like, okay, I know you. I know you. I know you're there and you actually listening to me. That, you know, till then I hadn't actually understood that. And I'm just trying to run you through the best moments of my journey with Jesus right here. The next one I, that I had, I think was after high school and PUC. Like high school and PUC was kind of a dark mm -hmm. time for me. I had good friends, um, but in general, the, the school and the 
the PUC, in general, the atmosphere is quite toxic. The talk was very corrupt and perverted. Um, not my close friends, but the classmates and the general discussions, which by that time I thought, look, I need to make an effort to speak to people. And I'd moved to Bangalore, like this was my fourth school, uh, when I thought, okay, enough, enough of this quietness that everyone complains to me about. They're always like, you're so quiet, you're so shy. I was sick of it. I thought, okay, I'm going to make an effort to make friends. <sighs> Unfortunately, I didn't know where to draw the line. And that ended up in me um, becoming too much like my, you know, classmates, reading and hearing and seeing everything they were seeing. My brain went totally nuts. I was totally twisted for a long time. Y'all have seen videos and that as well. If not, ask in the comments below what I'm talking about. It was a long journey of um, clinging to what I knew about God to come out of those things. But I'm just going to take you through this little by little. So we come to the time when I'm 17, trying to figure out which college to go to. I asked God and I realized I can't hear back. And that's a problem because I'm thinking I want to do something in my life that is directed by God. But if I can't hear him, then what's the point? I will not be able to have a career for him if I'm not even able to hear him. So I asked God, what do, what do I do? And he directed me to do a 40 day fast, which I have a video on if you haven't seen. Check that out. It was um, one of my most, one of the biggest milestones of my life. I, with his own help, sought him, searched him in his word to know what is his nature and Wow, the more I speak, the more this frizzes out. Isn't that so weird? Anyway, um, yeah, I searched for him and I searched for him. It was very difficult, but slowly, slowly and surely, surely, he re revealed himself to me. And it was everything that I'd ever wanted. It gave me the hope that I never had, the peace that I never had, the purpose that I never felt until that point. Um... When I was reading storybooks so much, like, I was just kind of engrossed in the stories of other people's lives. But now God was saying, look, you, you have a story. You have a story to tell. I've made you for a purpose and I want you to share this with other people. At that time, I was I didn't care about other people. So this was a struggle for me. I asked him, well, how, how do I talk to people, you know? And he takes me to these verses like, do you love me? Well, I love people. I love you guys. So would you not speak on my behalf to people? Would you not tell them of my love? Would you not tell them of this beautiful stuff that you're hi that you you found that you're hiding for yourself? Like that's very selfish to be and like please share that treasure. So all those things made me mind blown and I said you know what I don't know how I'm gonna do it God um I'm 17 I don't speak to people much except very few friends of mine I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I'm going to trust you that you will help me because everything God has told me so far he has helped me do it even if it took more than a decade he's helped me do it so that was my trust in him. That's what he's been helping me uh, do all this while. He had told me things like, even when I was a child, things like, don't say I'm too young, but speak to whoever I ask you to speak, whatever I ask you to tell. So this, this is how he's been growing me over years and years and years. Like that last verse was when I was in seventh standard. Um, then when I was 17, he helped me know my purpose, my mission. And more than anything, I was just so fulfilled to know God's love, to really taste it and enjoy it and be loved and enjoy that love and love him back, like worship him, praise him. I found that 
that was my identity that was my purpose and this is just an outflow of all of those things it makes no sense unless i actually love god like doing any work for god makes no sense unless you actually love him and know his love so when i was 17 i understood so much more about who he is and what he has for me and it didn't become about me anymore it became about him about his people which is which is all of you watching you are his people you are his beloved um and so my life just kind of expanded and it kept expanding i finished degree after that i went straight into music which was a very tough time because i kind of thought that i would become some superstar singer like immediately but i would put song after song and not really see things happen the way i, ex- I expected that was a huge like <laughs> humility lesson for me which i'm really grateful um i saw that hey this is a world full of talent and it's going to take an actual miracle for people to say watch this video that you're watching right now um anyway after college he got me into music and he just told me actually he didn't get me into music he just told me to worship him and i ended up worshiping him with everything that i knew which was music singing writing songs making videos uh sharing what i know about him to you guys on this channel and like if you go through all my videos you can see a huge journey of my life is like so much i put out there my goodness <laughs> and most powerfully two years ago two and a half years ago he led me to start a fellowship which was leading in worship and the word of god like speaking on the word of god to people which blew my mind cuz i always thought at the most i'd be a singer like at the top most of my potential but he had more he said speak for me not just sing for me but speak for me which really blew my mind guys um and that is haven fellowship that's going on right now we have another channel where you can see everything that we do as a family and there are beautiful people who have joined this fellowship whom we fellowship with every day talking about god um it's just it's incredible i mean this fellowship is open to everybody you can join as well if you feel like you need people to grow with in christ um details below so god took this extremely shy timid completely like as if she could not do anything kind of person and made her into someone who cannot stop talking about Jesus because of love for God and love for people um that's my testimony yeah i hope that i don't know i don't know what it did for you but comment below um how he's changed your life how he has <laughs> transformed you and uh yeah okay my name is Vian Demaris and i will see you next week with another video until then and always strive to be like jesus <laughs>